uh, goes something like this. All people are afraid. Being afraid is a very normal, healthy thing. If an individual were not afraid, I would have to send them to a psychiatrist to find out what was wrong. Nature gave us fear in order to survive. And of course, fear is our best friend. Without fear, we would all die. We'd do something foolish or stupid which would cause our death or being crippled. Fear is something which has to be controlled. While I'm in the dressing room, five minutes before I come out, my gloves are laced up. When I come out, I have supreme confidence, but I'm scared to death. I'm totally afraid. I'm afraid of everything. I'm afraid of losing. I'm afraid of being humiliated. All during my training, I've been afraid of this man. I thought this man might be capable of beating me. I've dreamed of him beating me, but, that, but I always stayed afraid of him. But the closer I get to the ring, I'm more confident. Once I'm in the ring, I'm a god. No one can beat me. I walk around the ring, but I never, I never take my eyes off my opponent. I keep my eyes on him, even if he's ready and pumping. He can't wait to get his hands on me as well. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. Then once I see a chink in his arm, boom, and one of his eyes may move, and then I know I have him. Then when he comes to the center of the ring, he still looks at me with his piercing look and as if he's not afraid, but he already made that mistake when he, when he looked down for that one-tenth of a second. I know I had him. He'll fight hard for the first two or three rounds, but I know I already broke his spirit. my head, he's throwing punches, I'm hitting him to the body, I'm punching him real hard. who controlled his fear can now function in a manner far over and beyond anything he was capable of before. Fear is your friend, and nature gave us fear in order for us to survive. And I give the example of the deer crossing an open field and coming to the forest and instinct telling him danger is present in the trees, perhaps in the form of mountain lion. At that moment, the adrenal gland injects adrenaline into the bloodstream, the heart beats faster, enabling the deer to perform an extraordinary feat of agility sufficient to get out of the immediate danger. Now we, as human beings, in my opinion, retain these qualities, though they're somewhat dormant because we live in a civilized atmosphere. But nevertheless, faced with a situation that intuition tells us dangers is present, these natural assets that nature gave us to survive come to the surface. And if we don't panic, we maintain a discipline and a control over them, we can use them. And they not only will help us survive the particular incident, but continued success will give us a comfort that's so strong and a foundation so powerful that in time you can get to overcome almost anything.
best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody that's ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from their claw. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah.